You can earn fate chips by uh, just watching, following, hosting, subscribing, uh, or just contributing to the game. You can then use those fate chips to heal characters, adjust their next skill checks, force them to say silly lines, and then reward or punish them by affecting their experience points. Tonight we are playing Aliens uh, by uh, Free League Publishing. Uh, with us this evening, we have our crew, uh, starting with uh, Jeff playing uh, Captain Tiber. Then we've got uh, Felix uh, playing Stan Crantham, the uh, Roughneck. Uh, next we've got so uh, Drizgill playing our pilot, Axel. Hello. And, uh, of course, uh, for, for story purposes, there's also an engineer uh, who is named Rory, uh, who uh, is an NPC. Then we've got some uh, some uh, 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 guests on board the ship, some passengers. Uh, starting with Armand playing uh, Doctor Tevi Fonda. Uh, then we have an NPC that is played uh, uh, that is uh, a big game hunter named uh, Hoopy. Uh, as well as new additions, uh, we have a marshal. Um, I don't know if I gave the name out for the marshal last time or not, did I? Um, did not. I don't have any records. Marshal is uh, Shad Jenkins. <laughs> shit, he looks like a Shad. And shad yeah, well, everybody take your notes. Shad. And uh, brothers Leroy. And he has the uh, criminal with him. Uh, who's named Chloe. <coughs> uh, and then, of course, we have our resident group of Marines, Colonial Marines. Uh, the squad is led by Sergeant George Wildstar, uh, run by Adam. Um, then we have uh, Corporal uh, Dez, who is the medic of the team, uh, who will not be joining us, but is uh, usually played by Good Devil. Followed by Lance Corporal Ermageddon, being played by Eric Ermslayer. That's why I first said. <laughs> and uh, finally, we've got uh, Private Renquist Venter being played by our very own Bruce Gaskin. Hi. You can just call me <coughs> Ren, but they can't because they we're not yeah. close like that. Uh. I think I'll call you whatever I want, <laughs> Private. Here, here. Uh, being called Privates is about as low as it gets, yeah. as far as I'm concerned. So. Boot. Your boot. <laughs> so, uh, we just kind of went off screen a little bit, did some of the um, uh, experience table, or experience uh, giveaways that we uh, meant to do at the end of last session. Uh, we'll do it again at this the end of this session on screen, so that way everybody gets a chance to, to see the uh, experience a little bit. Uh, and everybody picked a buddy, and everybody picked a rival. Um, for the sake of the audience, let's go ahead and run through for everybody, so uh, so the audience at least knows who's who's buddies and who's rivals. Let's start with uh, the captain. Uh, my buddy is Tevi Fonda. And my rival is that dastardly Lance Corbel Armageddon. <laughs> God, we're the same. <laughs> of course it's me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, what about uh, Felix? Uh, Stan Crantham. Who's his buddy and rival? So, uh, so um, my buddy is Rory the Engineer, because I like his style. Okay. And uh, the betrayer of my spank dreams is also now my rival, and uh, that is Axel. All right. <laughs> uh, you said Axel, who is your buddy and rivals? <laughs> my buddy would be Captain Tiber, and my rival is Sergeant George Wildstar. Okay. 
Tim's fighting words. We're going to take this out back. Dr. Tevi Fonda. Yes. Uh, my uh, buddy is uh, uh, my old dear friend, Jeffrey Tiber, the captain. And my rival is that uh, asshole who told me to, what to do. That Ermageddon character. He can he can go <laughs> see himself right out in airlock. Yeah. Another <laughs> enemy. <laughs> he's, he's taking notes right now. Here are the people who are out to get me. <laughs> I, I was literally stopping you from going out in airlock, but that's okay. <laughs> um, people see Sergeant. what they want to see. <laughs> Hmm. My buddy will be Captain Tybor, and my rival will be um, Taffy Laffy. What the the, the scientist? Taffy Fonda. Taffy Laffy. <laughs> Taffy Laffy. <laughs> Whatever your name is. All right. Taffy. Armageddon. <laughs> Who's the Marine Captain? The Marine Captain is uh, George Waldstar. Sorry, George, George Waldstar. Waldstar. Right. Sergeant, <coughs> Wait, are you thinking of the captain of the ship, no, though? No, That's Tyler. Sergeant Wildstar is my ally. Mm -hmm. And that doctor that won't listen to orders is my <laughs> enemy. Valid, valid. <laughs> you don't get to give me orders. And, uh, private. It's for your own good. Uh, my, my buddy is Sergeant George Wildstar, and my rival is, uh, our prisoner, mm -hmm. our mysterious yeah. prisoner. Chloe. I think having George Wildstar as your buddy and rival would be acceptable <laughs> as well. <laughs> it, 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 I think it's for sure. It's not a line in Karma Chameleon. <laughs> Who knows what, what might come. Yeah. yeah. I think that you guys have just changed your relationships. That's too complicated. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, just to recap a little. Um, one, I did want to address the fact that we screwed up the uh, ranking system last time. And uh, the, the good doctor, Corporal, is actually a, a higher rank than, than Lance Corporal Armageddon. Um, so uh, we'll, you know, ignore the fact that we screwed that up and, and move forward accordingly. Uh, and then, uh, of course, there was some question about the FTL drives. Uh, every ship has an FTL drive. This one is just really bad. So uh, all the same situations still need to apply uh, as far as um, uh, going into cryo sleep during the FTL sleep uh, jumps. Um, however, uh, the android um, and actually the, uh, the creatures that you are intending to uh, sabotage their cryo crates to try to make another tube um, yeah. would probably survive the journey. So... Um, so that is okay. Okay, so I was, yeah, I was liking that. I, I was happy to <coughs> suggest that. Yep. Uh, the other things that were on the table was uh, the sergeant suggested um, sending out a distress call as a uh, uh, maybe somebody can intercept with a better FTL and uh, and take some of this uh, keep all these people off your hands, um, which is a good suggestion. And, um, You're welcome. let's see, was there anything else that we had to go on? What's his name? What's his name? Uh, I think that's it. I think that was what the, uh, the general consensus was, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Okay. Um... Yeah, so we left off with, um, yeah, you guys were, were deciding what to do with the prisoner, where you guys were going to, who was going to do what at this point, I believe. And the shocking news of, of Axel being a, an artificial person. So, Captain, what are, what are your current orders? Send out a distress beacon and start making preparations for whatever else we have to do. Okay. In case no one else comes by. All right. Um, who who do you want to do what? Uh, 
Uh, you know what? As you're thinking about it, uh, you actually drop to the floor and start having a seizure. <laughs> that was your uh, okay, so... your cryo tube complication. Um, okay, so where, I'll jump where to his aid. are we? Yeah. Okay, so you guys can can you see my mouse on the screen when I'm moving? Or do you just see the blue? <laughs> yeah. I can see okay. the mouse. So uh, currently we have um, uh, this is uh, Axel right here with the captain. Shizy. This okay. is the marshal. So they're all in that center entry uh, entryway from the airlock. Uh, over here we have uh, the sergeant and the private. Uh, on this side is the criminal being watched by uh, Stan and by uh, Armageddon. Uh, the doctor's hanging out in this room as well, and so is the um, uh, big game hunter. Axel and the scientist are down in the uh, cargo area in the, in the bottom deck. Check out my science. <laughs> So as a as a quick quick uh, ranking question, <coughs> so if the captain, for some reason, doesn't make it out of this, <laughs> um, there's no way to delicately put this. When do I get to be in charge? <laughs> so technically, how many people got to die? So technically, right now you uh, are the next senior most person on the ship. Oh, I have some mixed feelings about this. <laughs> so, from your vantage point, you see the doctor, or you see the captain go down, and... Uh, okay, is there, there's a door. I mean, I see him through a doorway, yeah, right? Yep. It's hard to tell. Okay, so I can see yes. him. Okay, sorry, I just... There's a, thank you there's for that. a doorway straight through this, this area right. right here. Ah, okay, thank you. Am I able to catch the captain before he hits his head on Absolutely. the ground? Uh, I'll do so and make sure that he, you know, roll up some fabric or something like that, put it between his teeth so he doesn't clench down too hard by his tongue, any of that stuff. Okay. Um, so Stan, uh, you're, you're first, or you're next. Okay, um, I'm <coughs> going to take my eye completely off of the prisoner and, um... Uh, have a little bit of a freak out and um, uh, go over and, and what the hell? What'd you do? What'd you do to him? And I'm going to look at the marshal because I'm seeing the marshal stand over his body. The marshal says, hey, I, I have no idea. Well, I mean, I was just standing here talking. And... Who, who, put shit, hold up, who put shit in his mouth? Uh, that was the pilot. Yeah, it was me. The, the me is, I'm sorry. The pilot. Uh, I, I that's Axel. See. Pilot. Axel. Axel, the robot? Yes. Oh, fuck, it's on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna leave, uh, get away from him, you artificial bitch, and I'm gonna try and shove her away and protect the captain. Uh, yeah, your, your attempts to, Is that, I read about your attempts to push her away are, are fruitless. Doesn't actually move. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you're able to move there next to the captain. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep, uh, I will keep attempting to interfere. I know that it's fruitless, but I'm gonna keep trying. Look, we both want what's best for the captain. Well, I'm also gonna, like, you know, tell the marshal to, like, stop her and things like that. Uh, the marshal just kind of, uh, kind of just stands there, doesn't really get too much involved. Um, what about, let's go to the sergeant. At this point, I, I'm still trying to keep a, a low key without us going all gun crazy. So I'm just kind of standing by and, and watching the scene unfold and seeing what comes right. of it. Armageddon. I'll, I'll be watching the first time. Okay. Um, private. 
Yeah. Um, so, Brinkwist has got his his eyes. He so I'm I'm on yes. the far left there, right? Far left corner, up left corner. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna be keeping. I'm gonna position myself so I have an have an eye on, um, the prisoner. I, I'm guessing if I stand behind that guy, That's the sergeant. Who's that next to me? Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna stand behind the sergeant so I can look over his shoulder and see the prisoner as well as all the things going on in that room through the doorway. You can see or all can that I see all that from where I am? And then I'm just gonna stay where I am, and um, uh, say say to the sergeant, "What's going on, sergeant?" Just just keep your mouth shut, private. Right Copy now, that, sergeant. Right now, we don't have a whole lot of say in what's going on, so let's just keep a low profile. Copy that, top. Um, Des the medic will come over and uh, see if he can't help uh, stabilize uh, the captain. I will, of course, let the medic have room to work. Uh, I'm. Oh, wait, did he push Axel away? No, Axel stepped away. Okay, I'm going to step back uh, and not interfere. Okay. I'm going to keep my eye on Axel. All right, and uh, good doctor, what are you up to for the next 10, 15 minutes? Doctor? Um, I'm sorry, I was in interrupted by somebody who doesn't seem to realize that I'm streaming right now. <laughs> well, after your comment last uh, night. What did uh... you say? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. she's she's still a little upset that I called her uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> elderly. Justly deserved. Uh, yeah, so what are you doing for um, the next 10, 15 minutes? Um, so, a um, little bit of meta. Uh, I am still paranoid from the, uh, the wake-up process, so... Um, Dr. Dr. Fonda is looking at all of his uh, specimens that he has brought and I I know I set that over there and now it's over. Someone's messing with my work. I'm going to go speak to the captain about this and I'm going to turn around and I'm going to start walking up because I, I need to tell the captain that somebody on the ship is missing my experiments. Oh, I bet some shit's I bet some shit's missing. Oh yeah, something's missing. I counted it 15 times, and I got 15 different numbers. All right. I'm a scientist, not a man. You um, you ent enter up the stairs, uh, right behind her, or a ladder right behind uh, the sergeant and the private, and you kind of see all this stuff unfolding with the uh, the captain having a seizure and uh, the medic uh, currently treating him. Um, uh, the medic seems to be able to stabilize the captain and, uh, um, just kind of has him kind of laying there, uh, for right now. Um, again, we're going to go in, um, in kind of, uh, shift turns right now, which are, let me get the timetable again. Uh. So it's, uh, what's everybody going to do for the next five to ten hours? Starting with, uh, Stan. Um, uh, uh some of it, well, I'm in charge <coughs> yep. now. The captain's incapacitated. Yeah. Oh, I'm going Unless to... Unless there's more of this interaction you want to do, let me clarify that. You can still... Oh, um, well, no, I, it, do we have a, an idea of, well, what I'll do is determine on what's going to happen to the captain. Or what his capacity is. So the the medic basically, uh, Corporal Dez is basically just saying just needs to uh, lie down and rest for a little bit, um, and and recover from this from the seizure. Gave him a little bit of uh, uh, medication to help uh, him recover from the uh, neurological distortion uh, disorder a little a little faster. So, but for right now he's just going to need to to rest. Um, okay, so I'm trapped on a ship with a bunch of people I don't particularly trust. <laughs> and a surprise robot. Surprise. And, um, <laughs> wait, um, I'd like to hold my action until the doctor, uh, decides what he's going to say about this whole situation as he storms into the galley. Okay. 
Uh, well, let's uh, resolve that before we uh, go into shift then. Sorry. So <clears throat> I'll st storm in and I guess realize what kind of see what's going on. The captain lying there, the the doctor, the the, the medic of fixing him. And what what what's going on here with my friend Jeff? Why? Who? Hmm. Which one of you is touching my specimens? Who did it? What? Who? What specimens? Someone is moving my specimens around. I know it was one of you. Listen to me. Uh. Do not mess with Dr. Tevi Fonda. Uh. Yeah, I'm going to need you to check your tone there. <laughs> My tone would be perfectly normal if you illiterate people could keep your hands off of my scientific experiments. You have no idea the lengths that I have gone through to get these here. Imagine it could be all undone with just one little slug. He means from his gun. <laughs> I'm gonna look at the I'm gonna look at the private and go. Oh, is that what he meant? Huh? Huh? I guess my PhD didn't really teach me what words mean. Thank you. Mm, well, you don't seem to be taking it very seriously because he can. Crush I think it's you. one of your three PhDs, actually. Oh yes, yes, please. Show me again how tough and masculine you are. Oh yes, pound your chests. Ha 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 ha. Don't touch my experiments. And then I'm going to go. Please, someone. Tell me when the good captain awakes, and then I will turn around and leave like nothing happened. All right. Ooh. I don't think he thinks we're very tough, Sergeant. <laughs> you know, Private, it'd be a shame if, uh, you know, we end up somewhere and, you know, there's no one around and the lights go out. And when they come back on, somehow the uh, scientist is found with his his own head shoved up his own ass. Oh, please, yeah. please. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I like that, Sarge. Yeah, I, I, I hope I get to punch him in the face eventually. Because <laughs> he seems like a real dick. That was absolutely uncalled for. Oh, sorry. No, what he did. <laughs> oh, yeah. <right. laughs> like, I couldn't agree more. Are you all right there, Private? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. You know, like, honestly, I'm a little nervous about this, this, uh, this person who came on board, and, I, and I'm not too keen on that marshal either. But well, this, we don't know nothing about what's going on here. And honestly, that I don't know why the captain let him on board. Bad idea, if you ask me. Yeah, I feel like that's so. We should have stood by, maybe called in some backup. They're that's running it. out of air, I guess. It's not I still our think fault. we should do that. You're right. It's not our ship, but it's he's unconscious. Our... It's not our call till we get boots on the ground. Copy that, Sarge. All right. Okay, so I'm going to be a little martinet here. Um, I'm going to, let me see. First off, I want to see uh, the captain gets put in his quarters. Okay. I'm going to give a sidelong uh, glance Axel, and I'm going to say I want you to report to your post. I want you to stay there. I know you don't have to shit. I know you don't have to eat. I want you to stay there. Hey, that works for me. What it sounded like the captain was going to say was uh, <laughs> activate a distress beacon. So I was going to go to the bridge anyway and uh, carry out what I believe to be his order. So my post happens to be right where I need it to be. Um, well, I, uh, hold on just a second. I gotta go meta here. So, do I... Oh, uh, can't see. Alright, there we go. Better. Um, <laughs> so, do I see, um, uh, the, um, uh, or, or do you actually say that out loud, or, or not? Yeah, I think that was out loud. That was all out loud? Okay. <coughs> yep. Okay. Um. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh. All right. I'm gonna let her go to the bridge, 
And I'm gonna uh, dial up uh, the um, the drunken engineer, and I'm gonna have him disable ship's communications uh, because I think she's calling in her robot buddies. All right. And I'm gonna use a pull rank on it if if that doesn't work. I mean, I I can do that. I don't know. But yeah, after that, then I'm just gonna like you know sit and just watch all these bastards and not care about running out of air or anything. Right, are you taking the captain to the bunk, or are you having somebody else do that? Oh, I figured that I figured that one of these these big strapping young men that seem to want to put heads places <laughs> uh, would be more than happy to just put someone in a bed. Okay. You talking to us? Maybe. He, but I was, but I was going to actually. I was actually going to say, could uh, where's the sergeant? <laughs> Is the sergeant in the room with me, or uh, right there? outside the door? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I was, I was med. Hold on, I was still meddling. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm so heat Lance hit, Corporal, so, I'm straight. Lance Corporal and Private, can you assist them in getting the captain back to his quarters in one piece? Sir, what about Probably the prisoner, sir. sir? Oh yeah, Marshal. That's not my oh. call. Oh, we have the uh, Marshal. Could you watch your uh, your charge? Oh, of and I'm going to ask the big game hunter to, uh, if he's not too busy because I'm very obsequious at boot looking to him. Uh, Poopy, could you could you also keep a keen eye on uh, both of these guys? And and then I'm I honestly I think I'm just gonna go to the bridge and just flip through security cameras rap, rap more and more rapidly each time while glancing at Axel. For the next ten hours. <laughs> do, do I hear Felix call down to engineering? Um, I think I, I, I would have murmured it. I, I, I mean, I would have attempted to do it surreptitiously. So you may need a like a, a, a check. Or, or Axel might have, yeah, because if it's on ships, comms. Yeah, I mean, there's not much. I mean, unless you wanted to go down specifically to speak to him, uh, they don't really have any like private channel communications on the ship. Okay, then I'll I'll go. Deliver. Well, I mean, would there be a ship? Oh, it would have to be like a big echo chamber, a PA, yeah, basically. Okay, I then I'll I'll ask them to do it, and I'll go down and have him disable the comms. Okay. Um, I don't know if I'll beat the alert uh, alert signal out or not. But and then I'll go back. I'm sorry I set all that up. Um, didn't quite know if this wasn't Star Trek. Yep. Where people can just fucking go and talk. Yeah, no, the technology is not quite uh, as nice as Star Trek's. Yeah, it's fucking walkie talkies. All mm. right. <clears throat> Thank you. Um. Then Axel, uh, your next uh, five to ten hours. Activating our distress beacon. Okay. That takes a long time, apparently. Oh. Um, then it's city. Lots of city. Sergeant, <laughs> your next five to ten hours. Get some chow. Okay. Relax, maybe take a little nap if I can. All right. Find a good sofa, couch, something. Um... Armageddon, what are you going to do for the next five to ten hours? Well, I take the captain up to his yep, room. Yep, you and the private. And the prisoner is still in the mess hall, With right? the uh, marshal, yes. And uh, the big game hunter. All right. Is there a deck of cards in there? Oh, yeah, sure. Could have space cards. All right. Yeah, I'm going to play space solitaire while watching the prisoner. Okay. Erm, um, I'm I'm not p too keen on this on this situation. You know, he's this prisoner and that marshal are awfully quiet and don't know nothing about him. I think we should take up 
take up those that little table there near where, near, near the airlock where they came in and kind of you know put our ears on that room while we play some cards. I'll, I'll play some some cards with you, you know, play some cards. Should have eyes in you. <laughs> <laughs> but I like your What's thinking. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. So, I mean, it's two seats. I mean, we should get some grub too, man. You hungry? Might as well. So in the rec room, yeah, there is good. actually a um, like a circular lounge table that the two of you guys could sit oh, okay. at and uh, and do that. And you'd be within eyes mm-hmm. and ear view of. But wouldn't we be only in ear view if we were at yes. this table in the middle? And they would, yeah. So they wouldn't necessarily know, or, or they'd probably yeah, hear us. They could hear you. They'd probably see us either way. But maybe they'd be more, <coughs> more um, likely to, to say things without and forget we're there. Okay, that's what I'm thinking. What's up, Meta? You guys decide. Yeah, wear the hat, man. We should. Oh, we should get <laughs> Meta hats. We've even talked about this yeah. numerous times. Have Big we? I foam this like like three finger hats. Hat. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my other hat. I know he's got way one. ahead of you, bro. Way ahead of you. There you I've go. Also, hey, he's got. I've I see. Also I got, got it. my new Felix. AFK substitute <laughs> when I'm not here. I Back up, Armageddon. Nice. How did you get that? Amazing. Yes. Yes. Uh, all right, so oh, you guys, I, I wasn't paying attention when you brought that up, and I turned around at the perfect time. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So ju- just just some guy made a great point in chat. So um, sometime in, in the mean in middle of that, if I have to take a dump, I want to find the refresher and do that. They call it a refresher in this? It's probably not. Yeah, Star Wars it's, journey. um... Okay. So uh, it's off screen on there, on the audience screen, but if you look at the very left uh, area of the spot right here... That's where the closest uh, refresher is. Mm-hmm. Uh, or at the top of these steps. Okay, so I'll go in there. Or this ladder. All right, I'll go in the one <coughs> on this floor if, if, if okay. nature calls. So you, did you guys decide if you were going to sit outside the door or inside the room? I think we should sit uh, inside. I, you want to sit inside? Yeah. All right, it's fine. It does look pretty comfortable. All right, but, you know, they're probably not going not gonna to talk about much while we're right Whatever. there. We don't want them talking right. anyway. Oh, I guess yeah. I guess they can't scheme against us if if they can't talk. Huh? Yeah, I like where you're at there. All right, sounds good. All right. Um, who's that guy? Other that's guy. The big in there. game hunter. Yep. Oh, that, that's Hoopy. Right. And and so the green is is the green per- character. That's the uh, that's Chloe, right? Yeah, that's Chloe. She's the one wearing the furry handcuffs. There. Okay. Great. She has okay. the furry leather padded handcuffs. Oh, do they have? Oh, they're furry. Yeah, <laughs> for, for your comfort. Felix hmm. has a little bit of a. Oh, hold on, just a second. It's like here we go. Uh, Felix has a little bit of a side business. Um, totally oh. legit by the captain's thing. So if you Marines need to let off any steam, like uh, we've read about in all those M slash M things. Um, yeah, Felix will help. I feel like this is a, a Felix or Stan. No, well, Stan will help. Sorry, Felix. Felix is <laughs> Felix is M slash F. He he has his own thing on rule thirty four. Okay. But yeah, Stan Stan down stands down to at least help for a fee. If Felix yeah, wasn't it, on rule thirty four before, he definitely is now. I feel like um, Stan should definitely tell them that at some point. You just say it. Or did he? It'd be, it'd be. Um, never mind. This is meta. It would be hilarious if that was accidentally broadcast over the. <laughs> what over the intercoms? What is going on up there? Signal. <laughs> well, this is all going to be on YouTube, so I don't know what you're planning on keeping private. All right. We just got demonetized. <coughs> oh, sorry. Yep. We got minutes He's left. <laughs> okay, so uh, Sergeant, pretty much the only place uh, outside of the um, the crew quarters to uh, kind of lay down or, or relax at all is going to be in the um, in the mess hall, kind of around the corner there. Uh, this little area down here is a extra okay. table. You just kind of get slouched down to one of the chairs, basically. But uh, if that's the best I can get. That's these the best these ships I can weren't get. meant for comfort because they don't expect you to be, you know. <laughs> awake for too long in, in these uh, voyages, so. 
Um, all right. So, uh, things to resolve in this. Um, it's fairly quiet in the mess hall. Uh, everybody just kind of seems to be looking at everybody, you know, like everybody giving everybody the side eye and, and not much conversation going on. We're playing Bazaar. Yeah, well. <laughs> um, me, me in the private. Yep. And then, um, the, uh, oh, so we need to resolve the, um, uh, pilot and the engineer's battle for, uh, the, uh, communications. So, message? Yeah. So, if you can roll me, uh, the 2d6 axle on your character sheet. And we're gonna give, um... See, I'm gonna do it as uh, somebody else, though. All right. So, okay. So the engineer uh, actually is, cuts off the communication systems prior to you being able to send out the uh, distress message. Do they do they know that? Oh yeah, yeah, you can they can tell. Oh yeah, they're very clearly like, hey fuck. Yeah. Like you get the uh well, we know the error code, you right? know, comes back uh page four oh four cannot be found. So you can tell that can I do so just four 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 you can tell that their internet's yeah. down. You can tell that your your signal's not going out. Comms are down. Well, given that I have only one order, and that is that, I'm going to discover why our communication system okay. is down. <clears throat> um, you can tell that it's been disabled from the main computer, which is down in the cryo room. I will head there to inspect. All right. Quick question. Uh, all right, so um, am I, did I make it back to Yeah, you're there next. Bridge by, well, where's my timing? Am I up there yep. with you? Yes. Oh, are you getting up out of your chair? Yes. I'd say you get up out yeah. of your chair. <laughs> the captain ordered us to send a distress signal. Yeah, and I don't, and the system you're... seems to be down. And I think you're you're calling your little your little milk milk blood buddies. Okay, then how about you send the distress signal? Well, there goes that bit of dramatic tension. <laughs> <laughs> I was not. <laughs> I I will do this in uh, Frank cut Burns. The signal, cut the signal. I will I will call the this. Uh, can I? Can the bridge talk to engineering? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm going to uh, tell the... What was his name? Uh, Rory. Uh, yeah, I'm going to tell Rory uh, reestablish comms. I right, Captain. And then I'm going to and I'm going to lean over. Oh, I like the sound of that. <coughs> yep. We hear all that. What? Jesus, that's loud. <laughs> Don't turn that thing. What kind of shit is this? Is it, is it go, going all the way down to the um, I mean, the storage Titanic. and stuff? Yep. On the Titanic, they at least just fucking yelled into a tube. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like yelling down, who's got the toilet paper? <laughs> Can you spare a square? <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to... This gonna, is uh, 80s I'm technology, gonna... <laughs> so... Yeah, this is... Oh, that's true. Shit. <laughs> Uh, Stan Winston just did not think of comms. <laughs> um, uh, so I'm assuming the button's near uh, near Axel, so I'm just going to, like, you know, sidle over and, like, cons suspiciously just press the button and pull back. All right. Uh, yeah, after a couple of minutes, uh, you're, the comms so, are back online. 
Okay, and then I'm gonna uh, run the run the uh, thingy. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. All right, uh, what is your message going to say? <laughs> we just sent out a distress signal. There's not just this, like, like a we're fucked button just or a, anything. Just a general distress signal. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, if there's a if there's just a standard generic one that says, you know, the, the crew presses a button and, and it tells people we're fucked. Okay. You think I'm going to send a message to all my friends if there's one button that says we're fucked? <laughs> Got that joke finally. Wait, oh what? My God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was a good one. <laughs> it's it's the facial expression that, that sells it too. It's 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 a combination. <laughs> Uh, he, he was because because you said that that he was sending messages to his friends, but there's just a button that says we're fucked. <laughs> we're we're sure sending you? that message to your oh, friends. Right. <laughs> oh. Okay, I, okay, got it. No, I'm pressing. You could have sent the "come and eat us all" uh, button. That's the button right next to the "we're fucked" button. That could be suggestive. Got it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so rather than look at what button I pressed, the captain said, "Let's send a distress signal." And your first thought was, "Let's disable the comms." Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. You're down here. I'm glad we're all on the same bridge now. <laughs> yeah. Well, Captain, you got to get back here because I'm just bombing this. <laughs> <laughs> well. Um... <laughs> probably an hour away from venting the hall at this point. <laughs> so that shift I, I feel has been resolved. Uh, we will kick things back in. Um, uh, the engineer also reports that uh, he has modified uh, that cryo tube that you guys were uh, suggesting. Um, he said that he can put the uh, uh, the two creatures kind of in the uh, back end of the cargo bay where they're kind of away from everything. Um, and then uh, they can hang out there until, you know, everything kind of gets resolved. So, But he, he's not cleaning up that fucking mess, whatever mess they make. Yeah, we got 500 tons of ki kilo, kilo, uh, kilograms of kitty litter back there. Yeah. Uh, so much. Colonial <coughs> Bam Bam. So, um, <laughs> after that shift, the captain comes to. And. <laughs> uh, captain, you are in the med bay with the, uh, with the Corporal Dez. He's got you on the, on the medical bed there. Oh, what, what happened? Uh, you you suffered some severe uh, side effects from uh, the neurological distortion disorder from coming out of cryo too quickly. So uh, I was able to give you uh, something to kind of help treat the symptoms, and uh, you should you should be fine for now. Uh, most of your crew is on the bridge, so if you want to check in with them, you you pretty you should be good to go. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And he'll go back uh, to hang out with the rest of his buddies in the uh, mess hall. I feel like you're cheating, Ermigan. <laughs> Sorry, winning. Captain. <laughs> Can't be this good. I always knew that Lord Lance Corporal was a dirty <laughs> cheat. It's got experience and intelligence. One day, young one. Whatever, man. How old are you? Thirty. <laughs> check eight. Or check my character sheet. <laughs> Fine, you're ten years older than me. <laughs> I was about to say I'm older than you, but I'm not. So. 
Fine, whatever, man. Whatever you say. Deal cards. Do we have an H on here? Nope, but it sounds like cannon now. Yeah. It's Brian. Yeah, just like just like the captain's first name is Jeff. <laughs> given given the given the history of the franchise, I don't think anyone gets to have a birthday. <laughs> yeah, we all come from tubes. <laughs> whoa, whoa, what are we doing in the tubes? What are we doing in the tubes? What's this come tubes? <laughs> well, the captain came too. So. Oh, jeez. All right, Captain. Oh, Nat, that's going to happen every single time you walk away. What's that? <laughs> Just uh, us oh, evolving okay. into talking about cum tubes. Cum tubes, great. Cum tubes. All right, uh, Captain, uh, you go to the bridge and you see uh, uncomfortable. Great. Captain on Uncomfortable deck. silence between your uh, pilot and and your uh, and your first uh, mate. Oh, I've been and, and like I have not taken my eyes off of Axel for like you know the whole time, and I desperately need some yeah. Zine. He's got like bloodshot point. eyes. Something is clearly wrong <laughs> with me. Obviously, Stan, Stan, status report. We've. I've, uh, she hasn't made a move, and we've kept the ship completely safe from uh, a rebellion of the Siths, or whatever they are in this universe. What are they in this universe? Axel's the least of our worries. And Does anyone answer, does anyone answer the distress beacon yet? Um, no, Captain. We turned off all that stuff. We didn't even listen, apparently. I, I didn't let Axel do her job. <laughs> She had to just keep her hands at her sides the whole time. Stan's giving me the typical human discrimination towards my kind now that he knows, but, you know, yesterday we were cool. Yeah, yesterday I thought your blood was red. One little thing changes. Mm. I don't care what you are. Part of the ship for now. Part of the ship, part of the crew. <laughs> part of the crew, part of the ship. <laughs> Yeah, we the distressed beacon yeah. is now Joe's going. Joe's town upstairs. I'm going no down here. <laughs> New game. We're playing liars. <laughs> Get that distress beacon going. If you don't. If you don't get a. Don't get an answer in the next couple hours. We're gonna have to go with Plan B and go as far as we can with the what we have. Okay, I can I can go down and work with the engineer, uh, get Vizine and convert the two chambers if that's not already being done. Uh, he did that in the other shift, so okay. that part's done. But, oh, oh, okay. Um, yeah. So you guys, as far as that plan's concerned, you guys are on the go for that. Good to go for that. <coughs> oh, I get up out of the captain's chair, obviously. All right. The flop sweat that's all over the leather. <laughs> Didn't use the fresher once, sir. Save it, saving yourself for the tubes, huh? <laughs> no, tubes. You, you need those if you have a cummy ache. Oh no! Oh, we, are, we are so ready for the high drama and tension of this show. Remember when we said this is going to be more serious, it's going to be darker. It looks darker. Cummy tummies. Well, you know, at least we got our TikTok for the week, so that'll work. Yeah. All right. Now that we've had this conversation, I hope someone dies <coughs> in like the next ten minutes. Right. <laughs> Thirty seconds later, someone's head just gets <laughs> lopped off. I'm trying real hard. <laughs> then we learn real. So, yeah, actually, yeah. Joke around. <laughs> yeah, I was actually gonna go. I mean, if I'm either, I don't know if I need rest. Uh, I won't know it, but if. Um, if I, if I think the captain's got it up here, I'll just, I want to go down and check on the beasts. Um, cause I like the engineer, but you know, honestly, a little drinky. Oh, yeah. 
So I'm going to go check his work. Plus, I want to see these things. Ten tanks. There's a basement. One, two, three, five. You know, people often think about things <clears throat> and um, remember stuff in them because these are tanks for the memories. <clears throat> Even though they weren't so great? Yep. And sadly, that's all I know. Because, um, See? See? Grandma, grandma, grandma pushed me out of the room when the Hallmark Channel was on. It was a little too racy. <laughs> all right. So, uh, you go downstairs. Um, the engineers uh, up front checking on some of the systems for the, the cryotubes, making sure all those things are, are set to go. Uh, and attaching the the new cryo tube in place to uh, fall suit with the other ones. Um, the beasts are in the the back end of the cargo in the loading uh, bay area, um, and you can see them through the door uh, from the cargo uh, area there, where Doctor Tevi Fonda is uh, hanging out, uh, looking at some of his uh, stuff. He's got canisters of things oh i've i've done more than that i have pulled all of my specimens out and reorganized them because i swear to god somebody is in here messing with my so specimens. there's just stuff everywhere in okay, this, gonna... in this <clears throat> gold. this is one a what's here two here. okay art is this one can't we just keep it for it long um, uh, uh, all right, so I'm down there seeing seeing him recounting yep. his shit, right? Okay, does he appear to be any threat to me whatsoever? Uh, I mean, he's kind of uh, taking up a lot of space, but um, it doesn't look threatening to you. Know? Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm talking to myself wildly uh, as well. I don't understand. Do I have Do I have control over the airlock? And ejects us into this cargo bay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you would. Okay. Um, this y'all, y'all hold on, because there's there's some there's some shit, and I'm going to get XP for this. So anything goes, right? We're all bros here. <laughs> uh, where's the? Uh, I. What I want to do is uh, program in, because this guy's just fucking out of it, right? Uh, I mean, he's not out of it. He's just talking to himself. He's yeah, so yeah, he's yeah. preoccupied. Um, so, so what I want to do is I want to I want to um, uh, go boop, boop boop boop, and I want to wire this up so that in ten minutes it will eject the creature. The creatures into space. Okay. Okay, and I want to make it look like you know, uh, well, I want to make it look like he did it. <laughs> I like that. I, I like that a lot. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. So where I'm going with this is I'm going to go upstairs next, and I'm going to talk to the big game hunter, and I'm going to say, "Hey, bro, I think this guy downstairs is going to kill your specimens, and as a reward." You need to give me some social cred uh, for saving your creatures. All right, sit, wait. And if I want to, so you're gonna go, the, you're gonna uh, warn him sense? and tell him that this is gonna happen. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna say, hey, I saw this guy doing this, and he's like kind of hinky, and that way, you know, and parlay that back up into him doing me a favor, owing me a solid. Okay. Okay. Because uh, that's gonna regain, help regain my family status, because he's kind of upper right, class. Right. Does yep, that make yep, sense? I'm following you. Okay, that's. I don't know how you want to play that out, um, but yeah, it's all the it's all the guy. I'm the only one who's not a, have him as a rival, but I'm going to act like he is my rival. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that okay? All right. So, and, and if I fuck it up, you know, you could decide. <laughs> I could fuck this up and accidentally open the wrong door and let them into the ship. All right. 
Yeah, we'll see. I love everything about this. So all of this is up to you. I've just, I just, that's my plan. <laughs> but I also haven't slept in 13 hours. <laughs> and I need therapy. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's been a while. Okay. Okay. Someone didn't hug Stan Crantham. Um. Yeah. So, Doctor, next couple hours uh, outside of organizing right. your stuff, what are your what are your intentions? Well, since no one, <coughs> excuse me, since no one has uh, radioed down to tell me that the captain is fine, like I specifically <laughs> asked, I'm just gonna keep organizing my specimens, and maybe once I'm done, I'll head up to get something to eat. Um, Axel, what do you want to do now? <coughs> um, I'm probably going to stay on the bridge, monitor the comms and the distress beacon. Uh, if I'm able to, I'm going to see if I can pull up the security monitors, keep an eye on, uh, uh, well, Sergeant George Wildstar, because I'm not, not sure I totally trust him. Um, and uh, maybe also the, the scientist. Not, not, not sure why, but, you know. Keep, keep an eye on what's going on inside the ship, since pretty much all I'm going to be doing is sitting and waiting for somebody to answer back sure. on that distress. The station beacon. behind yours uh, in, the, in the bridge actually has cameras in the different rooms in the ship so you can monitor like video surveillance of everything too <coughs> okay i'd imagine i have decent hearing and could hear something ping back at my station from the distress beacon so i'll sit in that station uh with all the security monitors keep an eye on what's going on oh. on the ship um let's see here how do we do Hey, link frequencies open, Captain. Is um, I want you and I want Stan to roll uh, two d6s. Okay, quack. All right. Uh, yes. Me? Okay, <coughs> Stan. Two d6. Should my first one been a com tech roll? Uh, no. This, this is for uh, opposing rolls okay. to see whether or not, like, uh, this is going to be. Kind of like a perception check versus him trying to be sneaky. Mm. Got it. So yeah, he's able to um, to do his thing undetected by you. Uh, you just kind of see him meandering around. He looks like he's just kind of <laughs> checking things out down there with the doctor, but not actually interacting with the doctor. Um, and then he kind of walks away. Um. Let's see here. Um, Do these security monitors record or only live? Um, they would record the footage too. Yeah, they would. It would keep it in like the with the black box stuff, basically. So if anything happened to the ship, and they were able to recover that, they could rewatch what was going on to see what happened. <laughs> <coughs> Jeff, sorry, Jeff is keep saying funny things in chat. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> we'll keep eating together. Wow. <laughs> 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 I'm easily amused. <laughs> okay. I think that's why our friendship works so well. Yeah. <laughs> it's good for your confidence. Yeah, well, <laughs> Damn, I must yeah, be really funny guy. <laughs> this guy laughs at everything I say. Okay. Back in... <laughs> Arm Slayer is listening. He's like, thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So back in the mess hall. Arm Slayer has entered the chat. Um, Sorry, so back in the mess hall. So, uh, Corporal Des will come in and inform you guys that the captain is, uh, is now up and active again. Uh, and then just kind of find a seat and sit down. 
Well, thank Good God. Job. I mean, God. Could I hit more booze? Dude passed out from taking a nap. <clears throat> um. Yeah, we have. Just playing cards, you Captain. Booze? Not doing anything, anything what? suspect Too at much. all. A little bit. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> um. Did you like the? Did you like my plan though? Just to fucking stir shit. Uh, Sergeant. Uh, what would you like to What's do that? over the next course of uh, of time here? The next shift. Next few hours, basically. Mm. I would definitely like to um, call down to uh, the doctor scientist boy and uh just screw around with him a little bit like prank him okay show show my disdain Good. make have that interaction Jesus Christ <laughs> wait how come he gets a calm and I no, don't over the ship unless he's going over to the uh stairwell Someone whispering whisper in, in the mic? Who's whispering to me? Your specimens. They're calling to you. What? I've been waiting for this day for so long. <laughs> <laughs> they have one name to reveal of their true master. Oh. Who is my real master? Baba Booey! <laughs> Oh, that was really loud! Jesus, what's going on with the <coughs> microphones? I think, I think I must be... Intel's in the ship. I think I must be losing... Losing a bit of my mind here. I really need to eat something, and I need to, I need to get some rest. Oh. Paging Dr. Tavi. Paging Dr. Tavi. Are you there, Dr. Tavi? Uh, it's... It's Dr. Fonda, yes. With whom am I speaking? Dr. Absolutely, I shall be right there. <laughs> I didn't know you worked the McDonald's drive thru <laughs> <laughs> So that's pretty much going to be my entire uh, next source of entertainment for the okay. next couple hours. <laughs> um... And maybe play a okay. few, play a few rounds, uh, hands of cards with the boys. Do I realize that I'm getting <coughs> fucked with, or do I do I feel like I'm losing my mind? Um, why don't you both roll uh, double d sixes? We'll, we'll see. We'll let it. That uh, just the the two d six button yep. at the top. I got a six. It's <coughs> not good. Oh, very middling. Sergeant, go ahead and roll your two d sixes. See how convincing this is. And just the regular way the or through the character sheet? Oh, yeah. Fuck. Yeah, you're, uh, because you're a little sleep depraved and you're paranoid, you're buying all into this. Who who is I'm just I'm just gonna start writing um in my notepads who is Baba Booey over and over again. Um Ermidin and Private. What are you guys gonna be doing? <coughs> I assume we're just gonna be playing some more cards. No, that's fine. Just I uh, want to make sure. Unless we want to do uh, it's half time rotation. I think I'm starting to get tired here, man. Like we we should probably start taking the sleep rotations. Yeah, I, I, I think someone will keep an eye on these guys. Uh, do you, I mean I'll take first watch. I mean you, you you're the ranking officer here. You, whatever you guys want, Sergeant. Well. I guess we can start taking some turns to uh, get a little shut eye where we can. Private, why don't you uh, take the first shift? Copy that, Sarge. I'm gonna head up to the um, 
I'm going to clean up my plate and then head up to the... Up to the, uh... To the, to the sleeping quarters. And try to sleep. Alright. See, I thought first shift was the one staying up, but... Oh, he said first shift. Take first just shift. Wait he, just wait till he gets comfortable, then go remind him. <laughs> <laughs> so you, uh, you, thanks. You so head up. Good one, Sarge. <laughs> I'll remind the kid. <clears throat> uh, Stan, you uh, wander into the room and 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 uh, have your conversation with uh, with Hoopy about his uh, uh, animals or whatever, and. Uh, uh, he says to you, you know, well, did, did you did you override it? Did you stop them from from ejecting the my my babies out into space? Oh, I I I'm a, I'm too scared to confront him alone. I'm I'm just very weak. See this arm? This can't do much. <laughs> Actually, like you know, he's the, the, the actual. Well, look. The actual characters like fucking write it out, but uh, he's gonna he's gonna play a simp on this one. All right, he uh, he shakes his head and just storms past you, kind of shoves you out of the way. And I'll I'll puppy dog after him, say, yeah, but you know I really helped. I you know see I, I told him about it and everything. It's like I just really needed a big strong man with social media cred to help me. And I'll just follow him right on down. Only focusing on him, ignoring any other hazard. All right. Doctor, after you uh, started putting your samples away to uh, to go head upstairs and, and try to get some some food, and, and after you've been sitting there writing over and over again, who is Baba Booey in your journal? Don't worry, my pre- don't, don't worry, my preciousness. I will find the mystery of Baba Booey soon. I believe soon. it's pronounced Precious Eye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the big game hunter comes popping, <laughs> bursting into the room, and starts to yell at you. What? How dare you try to eject my my babies out into space? Who the hell do you think you are? I, yeah, fella, who the hell do you think you are? First off, I'm the great Dr. Tevi Fonda. How dare you approach me in such a manner? Who are you? He pulls out a knife and holds it up to oh, your you're throat. That... He says, I'm fucking Hoopy. I've he does killed not kill far Hoopy. stronger creatures than you. <laughs> that must be very nice for whoever Hoopy is, but I, I assure you, I want, I want none of this. Uh, look. Look, I've been down here this entire time with 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 my with my specimens over here. I have not even gone anywhere near your your creatures. Let's let's go let's go look at the tapes. We'll find we'll get to the bottom of this. We'll get to the bottom of this. All right. He's like you, and he turns to Stan and said, "Fix that and make sure make sure my babies are safe." Yeah, I think he interfered with a tape too. <laughs> Fucker said he had three PhDs when he threatened the corporal or the sergeant. How many PhDs you got there, Tev? More than you could amass in your petty life. See? The fucker's paranoid. I'll bet he even locked up weapons, too. I'll bet he, I'll bet he locked everybody's lockers. Nobody's gonna drop. I don't even SSD. have the capability to lock everybody's lockers. I'm just a passenger on this PhD? ship. What are you talking about? How many about? PhDs you got, bro? What is your name again? Um, Stanley. Stan, the man. Yes, Stanley. You better watch your back because I will make you one of my specimens if you do not play your cards correctly. Oh, I'll watch my back. So I think at this oh, at this I would like down. to look at um I would look at Hoopy and go, come I know I know the captain. We'll go and look at the security tapes. I will clear my name and we will figure out exactly who is messing with your uh, 
creature things, whatever. I have no time for them. All right. Um, well, he says, uh, fix the airlock first. And he points to you, Stan. Okay. All right. Here we go. This is going to be a shit move. I have nothing personally against anyone. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Noted. <laughs> okay. I'm going to, um, uh, let me see. Gonna go beep, boop, 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 and I'm gonna say, Holy shit, he fucking booby trapped it! And I'm gonna open the interior door. Okay. And then get the fuck out the way. <laughs> Alright, so you're gonna retreat back out of the room, like into the other room? Uh, best, best as I can, but I mean, I'm like clear. There's probably people in my way, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna set this baby off and I'm gonna try and scamper away like a pussy. <laughs> Who had money on Tevi dying first? <laughs> <laughs> Who needs to go home early? You just let you just let Stan Cranston take care of you. <laughs> Two sessions, not right. bad. At the uh, opening of the door, and uh, you're being the first uh, thing that they see. Uh, they do begin to growl and, uh, and and start to lunge towards you. You quickly run past everybody, shoving everybody out of the way to to get through to the next room. Uh, and Hoopy will pick up uh, a whistle that's around his neck, pick it up and blow it, and they'll both sit down and stop charging. Oh, thank the, thank the <coughs> heavens you can control those beasts. Well, oh. shit. If, I wouldn't have them here if, if I could If it's between me them. and you... Uh... Yeah, if if it's between me and you, Hoopy, I think that Stanley is up to no good. The fuck you say? <laughs> I know. Um, Captain, you get a call <laughs> over the intercom. To close that clock, too. Uh, Captain, oh. I think I need to see you down in the uh, cargo room, please. Okay, I am. I am actually gonna close the. Uh, actually, close that door. Okay. Uh, to be the finish being the asshole, and we'll see what happens. Sure. Do not know what I'm gonna do. Audience, if you've got a you've got a next move, <laughs> roll stand. If you but like, if you like, like, like and you want to see him back. Uh, and of course, Axel, you're seeing this more start more to unfold the over the security cameras too. Now's a good time for a glitch. <laughs> so, Captain, what are you doing? Yeah, it came over the intercom the system, so kind of everybody knows that there's something's going on down there. <coughs> Captain, they all appear to be uh, down there with the engineer by the bay door. Better go check this out. I'll hold the bridge. Alright, <clears throat> upon your arrival... You see the cargo bay door shut. With my the, hand still the button. <laughs> on the other side <laughs> is the passenger, uh, two passengers, the big game hunter Hoopy and uh, the Dr. Tevi Fonda. Um, and the inner uh, cargo uh, door is open and the two creatures are, are sitting politely uh, on the deck there. Do they have do they have names? <coughs> um the chat it can come up with some names for them because I did not actually name them. I'm gonna, uh, come on, uh, chat. Yeah, yeah, chat, get get some names for these. I'm gonna look at um uh Boopy and go, can I I know I was a little harsh earlier when you when you uh, were threatening me, but can can I can I pet one? Uh you know, these aren't fluffy little kitty cats or anything, you know, so, uh... The man wants to pet it. <laughs> no, I understand. I understand they're not, uh, you know, your your typical, uh, uh, domesticated animal like that, but they must, they must like some sort of affection, right? I don't train them for that. I train them for hunting. I'm gonna look at one of them and go, 
Oh, but don't you just want to be a tiny uh, puppy? It shows its teeth at you oh. real big. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> You're a big, strong apex predator. Look at you. Yes. Good boy. You I mean, unless you want to be a bad boy, then You're bad You're tickling boy. them under the chin, aren't you? You're booping Snoop? No, You're no, no, no. I was, I was very, very polite to, to ask permission first <laughs> and, and not. Boop Snoop. <laughs> We've got some decent names. I do like Chavo. <laughs> Chombo one, Chombo two. Solid. Possible. <coughs> what about Chompo? All right. Uh, so, Captain, what are you gonna? Uh, what are you doing? How's it going, Cap? I got it all under control, and there are a bunch of fucking liars in there. Just gonna let you know, I <laughs> because there are fucking liars. And that one guy, I'm pretty sure he is a cyber ninja. In addition to having all those strange specimens that he can't keep track of. And I'll let the robots hey, in you, it too. Why, why don't you go check check with the check with Corporal Dez and see if uh, see if he can get a look at you? Uh, uh sir. Sound a, sound a little a little off. Well, yeah, I've been up for like 28 hours straight. <coughs> maybe, maybe you should go get some rest. I'll uh, I'll handle this. I'll uh, handle uh, here. Where's Corporal Des? In mess hall. Oh, sorry. Uh, up, uh, at the, uh, up in the up mess hall. hall. Okay. I'm going anywhere but the fucking mess hall. <laughs> All right. Audience, yeah. where do I go? Other than that, I want to go open the right. open the storage and go in there to see what's going on. All right. Uh, he's like, I think that little prick has been playing some fucking mind games with us. He's, uh, he said that, uh, the doctor here has, uh, set the, uh, airlock to open my, and, and inject my babies out into space. And when I came down here and confronted him, uh, he started acting very strange. And when I asked him to, to make sure that it was set correctly, he... Uh, opened the door and, and, and locked us in here with the with with my two little babies. <clears throat> uh, Casablanca and Bucket. Oh, oh I thought <coughs> that was where I was going to go. Was into a bucket. Okay, never mind. Thanks. <laughs> uh. Casablanca and Bucket. <laughs> Great name. Looks like nobody was <laughs> All your specimens are still. I don't know that. He, I still don't know that if he a, fixed the air lock to not go off. Oh no, I did. I I I, I um, <coughs> lock, the air lock deactivated because um, I'm not a I'm not a fucking maniac apparently. <laughs> not not, not yet, yet. Not yet. I should have. <laughs> Thanks for that idea for next time. <laughs> I'm gonna look at the captain and go, ah. My dear Jeffrey, uh, I am 100% certain that someone is fooling with my specimens. I know that I organized these before we went into cryo sleep. And then when I come down here to check it after being woken, uh, there are things out of place, things where they should not be. I am almost certain well, someone uh, on the ship is messing with it. I'll let you check the check the security tapes if you want. I you would love scroll. them. You Nothing can scroll more. through as far as far back as you need to. Absolutely, I shall do that. <clears throat> I want that. Uh... And then I'll look at um Hoopy nice. and go. No, no hard feelings. Uh, uh, my very uh, buff person who I just met, acquaintance, friend, maybe. Uh, you're okay for now. But I want that other guy away yes. from my babies. Yes, and you must keep him away from my specimens as well. I believe maybe he's the one messing with my specimens. Uh, seems, uh, seems he might have come out of cryo sleep a little too early. It's, must, must be a side effect. It's not usually what? like this. Did you hear that? Did you Did you hear that? Oh, also, uh, Captain... Are you familiar with anyone named Baba Booey? <laughs> uh, 
Now that's a name Elwood I haven't Stark heard in many, <laughs> many years. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that didn't happen. <laughs> Well, um, never, never mind. I asked. I'll, I'll, I'll go, um, I'll go to the bridge and and see if I can't scroll through some of these, uh, 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 some of the security footage. I am, I am get, so get some, get some rest. I am well. so asking about uh, space uh, OSHA and uh, privacy protections. <laughs> There's, I, I want a lawyer in the way of those tapes. <laughs> You gonna check the computer logs and see what uh, what's available. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be. So I guess gonna be this entire trip worth of porn is what it's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> That's the direction I'll start it's heading. Just porn on here. There's no security tapes um, at all. I'm, I'm gonna hide out in engineering and not report to uh, med bay. Okay. Uh, I mean, I, I want to go anywhere but Med Bay, so it is it is dealer's choice. Someone said I would go to the cryo tubes, so I'll go to the cryo tubes. Okay, that's uh, in there where uh, Axel I, is, or not Axel, um, yeah, I'm gonna... Rory, who's uh, working on uh, hooking up that uh, extra cryo tube into the ship system. Is he the uh, alcoholic? Yep. Yes. And also, um, I have a tiny flask on me, and it's in the shape of my family's monogrammed salt shaker boom thank you uh, <laughs> equipment rebate whatever they're called yep. that was from last week um, so I'm going to give him a little bit of the taste of the good stuff and just say uh, you know close me up make it look like uh, this tube is uh, down for maintenance and I'm going to hide in it and fuck if I know what's going to happen next Oh All right. God. Well, that's what they said. Audience said it. Are you not amused? From... Oh, I am entertained. Oh, okay. I'm entertained. <clears throat> so, uh, next couple hours. Uh, no distress call <laughs> has returned. Um, the security footage, uh, it shows wow. Stan entering the room. And, oh, hey, you know, Jeff. messing with the, some buttons. Um, the angle is kind of weird, so you oh, can't really see what he's doing with it, but he is messing with the buttons. Allegedly. And... Um, <laughs> as, I'm, as I'm going backwards, though, do I see anybody messing with the, no. the specimens? <gasps> no. What is... How is... Oh, the mystery of Baba Booey goes deeper than I ever thought. Ugh. <sighs> Mystery. Baba Booey. <laughs> and unless there's anything somebody specifically wants to do, the uh, the time to go into the cryo tubes is upon us. <coughs> wait, wait. Someone's so no one res responded to the nope, just the just trash call, or they did? Oh, and we we do have enough. The Driss chest call. <laughs> well, we don't, we don't, so no one's told us that, that, though, have they? That the distress call uh, approach didn't work. Um, you would assume that, you know, before everybody goes into cryo, the captain kind of would debrief everybody, um, you know, what, what the current status of everything is. Okay. Okay. Please leave my briefs where they are. Yeah. All right, so I'm I'm in a tube. I'm in a tube, so it's going to get really fucking awkward when they decide to, to go after me. <laughs> yeah, you guys. So oh, that's the other whole, thing. Stan's disappeared. Attempt, yeah, I think the whole attempted murder thing might uh, <laughs> be. Uh, I, I think it go, yeah. a bit of a, a plot. I think it does go without saying that I um I I do approach Hoopy and uh, let him know what I found on the, the tapes that uh, you can clearly see that I go nowhere near the console, but you definitely see Stan messing around with something. It's because you're just that fucking good, man. <laughs> did, did anybody um come wake me up after yes. I laid down? Eventually somebody would come wake you up. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, so uh, yeah, you were going up me. there to go to sleep, and then Armageddon was like, supposed to come correct you. We can play that out real quick too. Yeah. 
Oh. <coughs> so you get comfortable. Armageddon comes barging in. Does does the sergeant come up as well? Since we're supposed to be. Nope. He's baba booing the. Uh, oh, the okay. doctor. <laughs> what do you think you're what, doing? So when he. When he walks in, I'm holding the metal in my hand and staring at it and rubbing it. Um, uh, nothing. Uh, and I put it in my pocket. N not nothing, Corporal. What, what 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 can I do for you? I, I thought I had the first shift for sleep. Oh, you have first shift on watch. Who says oh, first shit. shift on sleep? Move oh, it, damn. I, oh, I must look like such an asshole. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's fine. <laughs> oh God, never gonna live this down. Jeez. When I get up and, you know, scurry the down, I get back up, down to the mess hall. I want 50 push-ups, 50 sit-ups, 50 squats done. All right, co 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 copy that, Corporal. Dismissed. Kind of head, my, hang my head. And I'm going to do one of these and kind of go. All right. Yeah, and I'm going to go find a place that's not in the mess hall and do those things. Okay. Uh, oh man, I wish I could. Fuck. <coughs> uh, the engineering room is probably going to be your your best bet. It's kind of in the middle of the ship. No. Is there anybody else there? Yeah, yeah, I'll go there. All right. Anybody else want to do anything before cryo time? I'm pretty much trapped. Yes. So. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think um. One one thing I would want to do is is I wouldn't want to take the thing that I took out of the um I, I mean, we all have to put our gear away right so I would go to the to our gear um uh chest and try to open yeah. it and yeah it, it locks obviously uh, it. it's locked uh <coughs> hey guys this this is locked how are we gonna put our Fucking stuff in here heavy. and and why did someone lock the case that has our guns heavy. in it? <laughs> heavy. <laughs> No, he's hiding. You wouldn't hear. Him. You wouldn't hear him. You can't hear him. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Tevi. <laughs> I will. Wait, I will they... tell you, Stan. Um, um, make it look like it's down for maintenance is probably going to be like your famous last words. I swear it wasn't me. Well, it was just before I yeeted. Yes. <laughs> casualty PV first PVP casualty of the evening. All right, so I welcome her, hey. private. You notice that the uh, stuff's locked. locked. You, who yeah. do you want to call? Ghostbusters. <coughs> um, so, is anybody else? This is the fire room. Is anybody else uh, in the there engineer. right now? He's in there. Okay, so I'm gonna say that to him because he's the only person here and he's the crew. I said, "Did you lock this?" He walks over to you. Can, he's like, can you open it, please? Fix it, you fucking self. And he climbs up the ladder and heads to engineering. <laughs> Fuck. And he's obviously is, is extremely in, intoxicated. in the cryo tube already? Well, I'm, in, I'm, I'm hiding in a... I guess it would be the only closed fucking tube. Yeah, I think, right? Or Well, they're all closed right look? now. It, it's, they're not active. But it's going to look suspicious. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to go back up. I'm going to try to find the sergeant and report to him the all situation. Right. Sergeant's in the mess hall still. Sergeant, the, right. Sarge, there's, there's someone locked our our case that had our, our 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 locker that has all of our stuff in it, particularly our weapons. Why would anyone do that? That's a great question. Probably someone doesn't want us to have our weapons. Is my guess. And private, and private, why exactly did you need your weapon? I was going to, down there to take my clothes off to get into the cryo. Private, don't you have something you need to be doing? What? What do you mean? It's your shit. What? I mean, yeah, but I, we're supposed to be getting ready for. No, this was after the shift. I thought. <laughs> yeah, I get another shift. I, I just took a shift. Private, I'm just messing with you. You don't need to stay awake during cryo travel. <laughs> but if you want to, you can. No, 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 no. I'm pretty sure I die. <laughs> Go check with the captain. See if we can figure out with who locked it down and whose authority. All right, copy that. I'm going to head up to the bridge looking for the captain. All right. Captain. 
Uh, uh, Captain, Captain and the pilot will be in there. Sorry. Okay. Well, a quick, quick thing. Um, what uh, I can roll dice. Did I happen to hear a? Was there any? You know, is there any chance I heard him like go? Mm, not inside the cryo tube. No. They're gonna be. It's gonna be pretty muffled in there. Okay. Thanks. <coughs> okay. Captain, if you don't mind, can I have a minute of your time? Yes, Private. What can I do for you? You could just call me Ren, since you're not my sergeant or anything. <laughs> but we're pretty cool, I guess, for now. Um, How can I help you, you today, you, Mr. You know, Vinter? That's fine. <laughs> um, Mr. Vinter's fine. Uh, it, our locker is locked, and I don't have the thing to open it. Could you unlock it? Because my weapons are in there. And I'd like to not have them locked. Thanks for that follow, by the way. Did you uh, know they were locked? I butcher this name, uh, but... Vit Victoria UB? You gotta follow. Oh, oh, thank you. Everybody spam that uh, chat with hearts. Show some appreciation. Dude. Thanks, bro. I have a hard time typing, so deal with it. <coughs> how how do I type that love? How do I how do I eat pray love on this thing? Toria. Hey. Much love. It's a captain. You knew about this or no? Oh well, it's, it's a locker. Lockers are supposed to be locked. Seven and eight. <laughs> That's, that's true, but it wasn't locked before, and uh, if I had oh, known you lock that, an empty locker? I, I didn't lock it. I didn't know you could lock it. Of course, I probably should. It's a locker. Should, of course but, you can lock it. Yes, right. I got that. Could, could you unlock it, please? Because I don't like my stuff being in a thing that can be locked where I can't get to it. Please. Do I have a key? You would have an access code to override the lock, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> store, store. Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, can we do it now? Yeah, yeah sure, sure. Okay. Yeah. What's, what's the rest song? What was the question? I'll uh, take him to the locker. Okay. Yeah, you're able to go down there and, and turn the lock off, basically. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to purposely put the code in wrong. <coughs> beep, 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 beep. <coughs> oh. it, is, is there a problem? Uh, I don't know. Oh, all right, I'll, I'll put it in for real this time. All right. Beep, 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 beep. Opens up. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate that. I'm going to reach in and grab everything out and then walk back up to the group. Much appreciated, Captain. Okay. I, uh. There, you can't take this stuff in the cryo tube with you. You want to put it into a locker. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go talk to the group. And figure out where they want to put their stuff where it won't get locked away. If that's cool with you. Uh, I would... There's a bucket over there. Okay, great. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate that. We'll figure something out. Thanks, Cap. I'm going to turn and walk away from him and go and go up the steps with all my arms full So you're stuff carrying like everybody's that. stuff? You got like yes. four oh rifles and. Can I carry everybody's stuff? Uh, rifles and, and big packs and stuff. The dildos, <laughs> all the dildos. I would say this is gonna be. Can I carry it all? Uh, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to use all the ways I, to I hold things. I might have to. I might have to say you no to this. To yeah, you could try to like drag yeah. the packs and the rifles and stuff, uh, but it's gonna be. You have to go up a ladder. 
Okay. So I'm, I, I guess I'm going to drag what I can and then realize this is possible and then just leave everything <laughs> and then go up to the All group. Right. On the ground, not yeah. in the locker, though. Uh, <coughs> Private can... You're not just leave all your stuff laying in the middle of the floor. Yeah, yeah, I will. As soon as I can figure Especially out where I can put it, runs. where you won't lock it away. Thanks. Yeah, that's fine. We'll figure it out in a minute. Just, just, just give me a minute, okay? <laughs> oh no. Just a minute, okay? As soon as he walks away, I'm gonna start rooting through the right. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> There's all kinds of neat stuff in here. So I'm gonna go up, and when I get to the group, I'm gonna say, guys. You know that they had our stuff locked away. You knew that. So I got unlocked. I took everything out so we can't lock it, but it's on the floor down there. So you guys want to come down, grab your shit, and we can figure out where we're going to put it. Our gear's on the floor? Yeah, well, yeah. I didn't want it to get locked again and then <laughs> not have access to it. Private, you mean to tell me you took all our gear and left it on the floor? Yeah. I mean, I don't want, I don't want to get locked. What if we need our guns? Damn, I want to wake <laughs> up now. Private, please, please put all the gear back, save for maybe, um, you have them service pistols. Okay, fine. Co co copy that, Sergeant. Fine. Get back. And you better hope no one's Stop taking we'll anything with either. Uh, <clears throat> Alright. So I'm going to go back, and I'm going to try to put everything away, except for the... Do we, does everybody uh, have service pistols? I don't pistols? think so. Um... Yeah, I know I have. That's what all I have, I think. You, I think the doctor she says it's has one. Or not the doctor. The medic has one. Uh, Sergeant, do you have a pistol or do you have a rifle? Um. <coughs> I think you have a rifle. I know I have the pulse rifle. Uh, yeah, no, I don't have okay. any service pistols. <clears throat> According to my sheet, I have a rifle and a incinerator. Right. If no one has them, then put put your gear back. <coughs> I, I have a pistol. I too have a service pistol. If you can believe that. Um, private. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you don't have a pistol anymore. <laughs> what? I have a pistol. Oh. Okay. Good. That's good. Yes, I'm learn to be a big boy and not leave all the the gear just sitting up for anyone to grab. You can have your 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 pistol back. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Understood. Yeah. All right. So You're I'm fine. gonna take the the, the the service pistol in in the cryo tube with myself. Into the cryo tube. I'm going to take the pistol into the cryo tube with myself. Okay. Cop, cop, copy that, Sarge. Uh, so, Captain, as you are digging through, you're seeing stuff like motion detectors. There's actually, like, full armor in here, too, like body armor. Like, it's kind of weird that these guys that are supposed to be on vacation have all this uh, equipment. We prepare for so, everything. Uh, and as you are rooting through this, uh, the private and the corporal come walking back in. We need all this stuff for vacation, son. Yeah, you don't. You haven't seen vacations like ours. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Playing a game of. I've, 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 been, to this, I've been to this resort before. I, I know what it's like there. It's, it, I don't think you have any need for all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. Until you need it, right? And if you don't, you're dead. So, C could you maybe not touch our stuff anymore? Uh, calm, calm, calm down, son. <laughs> you're not fighting any wars out here. Understood. Appreciate you uh, opening the locker for us. Thanks. Yeah, sure, sure. You can uh, you put your stuff over in these personal lockers. <laughs> oh, good. More lockers. Good. Okay. Great. All right. Well, at least how many how many personal lockers are there, Meta? Um, there's enough for everybody. There... Everybody has one. Yeah. To have their own. Okay. I'm I'm gonna take my stuff, and put it in my personal locker, and then I'm gonna take the Sarge's stuff, put it in another <coughs> locker, and put my pistol in there begrudgingly. Say, fucking goddamn it. <laughs> I have your pistol. Oh, right, right, yeah. Sorry, I didn't see you there, Sarge. Yeah, yeah, here's <clears throat> a pistol. 
All right. Uh, and then the corporal, I guess, will take yep. care of his own stuff, and I'll take the lance corp, lance corporal stuff, and put him his stuff in the in the last locker. All right. Anybody doing anything else before cryo sleep? I just take my clothes off and get ready for cryo right. sleep. Why can't I watch <laughs> this? Why are we not? Why do we not have an OnlyFans page right now? All right, so we have an OnlyFans. We will if you keep taking your clothes <laughs> off. No oh, fair. Um, uh, no, I, 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 I actually had a que- yes. uh, a minor question since I'm I'm like hiding in a cryo tube, but I, I'm not prepped or any. You know, I'm kind of waiting to be discovered, essentially. Or I think so. That's you know that's the thing. I think it's happening because I'm not. I don't know when to bust out because I can't hear. Yep. I, I and I'm just sitting there vibrating. <coughs> okay. Sorry. I, I apologize. All Thanks, right. Mother. So uh, the ship is going to try to take care of passengers first. So uh, what it is going to do is uh, the, uh, the the doctor. As well as the uh, four uh, military personnel will be uh, put into cryo sleep first. Uh, the big game hunter also, and um, the marshal insists um, on going uh, after them because he wants to double check the uh, the status of his prisoners prior to and uh because the there's that janky cryo tube that you guys kind of uh put together uh he said you know out of everybody's life the least valuable is the prisoners so he thinks that that person should go into the janky one <coughs> so that being the case let me make a quick adjustment to the scene here Earlier, Guys, do you remember, do you remember when we were coming in tubes? Tummy, yep. tummy. Yeah. Good times. Because the cummy ache. <laughs> tummy, tummy. Oh, oh, it was in, not on. Okay, that's embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to do it on because it leaves streaks on the glass. Yeah. No, uh, Windex will take care of that. Uh, okay. I've been told. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Not a personal story. So I've been told. Yep, not a personal All right. story. Never. So this leaves in the cryo room uh, is captain, pilot, engineer, uh, the marshal, and the murderer. Uh, and they open up the cryo tube to prepare for the murderer to go into. And Stan is there. And he's doing this. <laughs> Stan, what? you're in cryo. Right, all the, all all the military this? guys are in well, cryo. Well, stop that, but he's there. Yep. Oh, so we're the captain. Okay. So, is am, am no, I in the room cryo. as well? Yep. I'm already in cryo. Okay. <coughs> so, last dreaming word. about Baba Booey. <laughs> you're you're never waking up. Baba Booey's coming to get you. No. So, so yeah, Captain, this uh, this guy that you've been looking for that's been wreaking havoc on your ship has been hiding in this busted cryo tube. Alleged. What are you doing? Um, you know, I was I was thinking that the doc was gonna try and blame me for everything, so I just did not trust him. And I was waiting here uh, to stage a final comeback against him and Axel. In the tubes. Oh, no, I was going to burst out of the tube, bro. <laughs> that, Stan, they're, they're already in cryo. I just got muscles, according no. to my character sheet. Sorry. They're already, they're already in cryo. Who is? Doctor. 
Oh, well, we need to turn that fucker off because he's just too <laughs> smart. <laughs> and Axel, you are in the room as well. No. Do not. If you want to interact as well. <coughs> oh, yeah, no, I'm pointing fake. Dan, we're gonna we're gonna get these we're gonna get them to this to the resort. We're gonna be done with it. We'll have a conversation about this later. Who the doc? Yes. The Dro doc needs to go. Yeah, we're dropping them all off there. I made no, sure drop... made sure to put them in there myself. These... We can't we can't just drop them off now. No. No, we have. To okay, hold on. Minor meta. Is the is our is the corporal he doesn't cryo. Or is he asleep? Fuck. God damn it. I need to take my meds. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it is starting to fade a little bit. Your paranoia is starting to fade a little. Because it's been it's been hours now. Like oh, okay. 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 Yeah. Sorry. All right. Thanks. All right. Who am I, who am I fucking arguing captain. with? And, and <laughs> to stab? Or just the captain? Yeah. You can't trust him. Uh, so do we so do we get in the cryo so do we get, get off get these guys off our ship and go go do something it'll, else take a take a vacation just, will it just be us yes me and well, me and you and the the drunken engineer who's inexplicably my best buddy yes yeah, so, okay just us not our robot of course well we're, we're going to have to work through that. <laughs> well, but it'll, it'll, you let me know out of... It's just back just like old times. Well, we've only been on one tour. Um, But is is, is the big game hammer okay? What? Who would say? Is the big game hunter... Uh, what's Hoopy? his name? Shit. Hold on. Let me... Hoopy. Let me let me look at my sheet here. Yeah, Hoopy. Uh, is is Hoopy okay? Uh, he, Hoopy's Hoopy's fine. He's sleeping. Yeah. Okay. Let him know. It was always the doc, and he owes me for saving his creatures. And now I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> All right. The captain puts uh, Stan into cryo. Mostly to avoid him causing any more trouble. <laughs> um, then the marshal will, will put the prisoner in the uh, janky cryo. Make sure everything looks uh, pretty well set for that. Um, the engineer will go in his cryo. And uh, he'll ask you know Axel to make sure that everything looks good on his end. He's, he's had a little few too many, so sure will. You know, some of the things look a little weird. <laughs> do the prisoner and marshal have the head cams? Uh, no, they do not have head cams. Do we have spare ones? Um, probably not. It's, uh, the ship's made for a pretty small crew, so. It's pretty much just like a as-you-need okay. kind of thing. <clears throat> um, all right, the marshal will then uh, go to his cryo tube, push a couple buttons, get it set, and uh, set himself in. Captain, any standing orders for uh, Axel before you go into cryo sleep? Uh, is there any issues just waking up? You'll be the first one I call. All systems are nominal right now, so I don't expect any issues. Very well. See you, see you on the other side. You want to be woken up as soon as the distress call is answered, or...? Uh, you can probably turn that off and we'll continue, continue on to our destination. Copy that. I'll turn it off. I'll see you on the other side. All right. Captain will go into cryo, and we will uh, cut it here and do our experience real quick. We can't. That's, that's good, because it's it's getting to be 50 shades of rungus in the chat right now, and I don't know how I feel about it. Let's change the mood a little. 
It's all about I'm the ducks on the dance floor. No, all the Marines are in cryo. Wait, wait, we were the first ones up? to go in. I was asleep upstairs in the bunk bed. Yeah. I fast forwarded a little bit because <laughs> we're trying to get through stopped. to the next uh, the next chapter here. Oh, got a lot of... then I would have argued about the, the prisoner part. in the janky cryo. <laughs> to the dying We part. put her in the janky. We shouldn't. Why? Because, obviously, that cryo is not reliable... What if it uh, wakes up early, then the prisoner is let loose. We should put the prisoner mm. in a standard one, and we'll put the private Ooh. in the janky one. Yeah, we fucked that up because we went to bed first. The prop, well, yeah, but oh, I am down with the Lance Corporal. Um, yeah, I mean, if you want to make that argument, the uh, the only thing that the marshal would would argue is that if this one malfunctions, though, more than likely it's going to kill the person inside, as opposed to just wake them up early. If they're woken up early... If it wakes them up early, they won't put it back right, down. And Axel will be anyway. around to uh, address any right. concerns like that. Okay. Mm. Axel will still Correct. be awake. Okay. Yeah. I'll say it on the monitors. Other than that, good soldiers <coughs> follow order. <laughs> whether they're good orders or not. All right. Execute six yeah, let's, let's do our experience. Uh, where did it go? Ah, oh, here we go. Okay. So, at the end of every, uh, session, uh, we ask our players, uh, different questions that they have to answer, our, uh, honestly. And, uh, we divvy out experience points for this. The first question is, did you participate in the game session? Yes, everybody yes. here participated. Yes. So, ah. please give yourself an oh, experience yeah, point for participating. Yeah, I now have two. The, I'm a little concerned the, that this experience bar is too <coughs> short. Uh, I'll get. To, hey, look, they don't even. I'll be honest. I didn't even think we were going to get experience. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna <laughs> die. <laughs> yeah. All right. Maybe the real experience is the friends we made along the way. Did you risk or sacrifice something to further your personal agenda? Raise your hand if you feel like you did. Okay. Um. I feel like that's valid. I, mm. <laughs> well, I mean, anybody who wants to speak against me, that's totally fine. Well, what's your yeah, agenda? Well, no, you, you guys agenda? only know what your personal agenda is. I'm not, I'm not going to fight for your personal agenda. Uh, my health, my so you guys is to, to regain don't my tell family. Us. Don't tell oh, us. Shit. It's up to yeah. the DM. Sorry, you're right. So, yeah, I'm not going to, I'm not going to fight for your personal agendas. You guys have to kind of, you know, say that you, Believe it. I would say, I would say no, I didn't. <laughs> um, I was just crazy about my specimens for. Most did of you it. risk your life for your buddy PC? No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I had to go into that airlock. <laughs> <laughs> what happens? What happens if we tried to kill our buddy That's PC? <laughs> That was an oops. I will <laughs> take a demerit. Did you that. challenge or stand up to your rival PC? I didn't even talk to my rival. I made mine try and wet the right, bed. Adam? Yeah, I did. Yeah, you gave yes. me a complex. Yep. <laughs> so go ahead and give your one for that. <laughs> do I do I get one for... I have to ask. For being a person. Uh, did, get... did it go against your rival? Yeah, but... You know, now I feel like shit, and I gotta give more no, money. Say, well, it qualifies. You gave a lot Hold of uh, okay. grief to Axel. Okay, more money. All right, <coughs> another another fifty dollars to NPR. All right. Um, nobody had to make a panic roll. Um, the rolls will start coming into play next season, next session. Probably could have took a. Made a panic uh, roll. did you overcome a dangerous event using violent or nonviolent means? Yes. I caused one. That's true. <laughs> uh, I would say being confronted by a giant game hunter yep. and talking my way out of it was very uh, yep. non-violent. Yeah, go ahead and give yourself one for that. This. I have three. Um, Is fall damage due to seizure dangerous? Seizure. Um... I wouldn't say that. 
was kind of thinking maybe risking life for your buddy, but you weren't really risking your life. You just helped save his. No. Um, mm-hmm. But let's come back to that. So, uh, did you make any significant discovery or revelation? Yeah, I found the lock- okay. locker. Yeah. So some sabotage. I found out that my lord and savior, Baba Booey, <laughs> is the one that I need to figure out shit about. Yeah, you found you found Hare Krishna and Baba Booey. Yeah, I've got the power of Baba Booey and anime on my side. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'd say I'd say uh, the private qualifies. What would you? Mm-hmm. And the you said the the uh, scientist. Uh, I don't know about that one because it's a fake revelation. <laughs> but he <laughs> believes it, and, yeah, and, yeah. and belief is believes. like ninety yeah. percent of it, right? Is it, hold up, is it firmly held? Because that'll fly, that yep. shit flies in Iowa. Well, you know, I, 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 I tried to roll <coughs> to make it not, but I firmly now believe in the power okay, of Bob. Okay, Cooper. I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. Yeah. And, and, uh, Captain, where are you saying your something? Specimens is... I, said, I found out that Stan's a okay. Batman. Yes, you did. I'll <laughs> Stan is a <laughs> <Except. laughs> I, I also discovered that with yep. the comms okay. thing. I'll accept it. Yeah, the comms thing is... I'd call it bullshit of the comms. I, I re- discovered that they haven't even got walkie-talkies <laughs> figured out in the right. future. Were you holding the button? You gotta hold, I, you gotta I hold guess, the button. You have I to hold the button. I'll call button thing that you got on the <laughs> weird That's fucking like a, right, Did you perform an extraordinary yeah. action of some kind? <laughs> Uh, I mean, I extraordinarily tried to fuck over four other players. <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah, you did. <laughs> uh, That's true. I mean, is that okay? I would. I, I'd, I'll take I, that. Nothing personal. I, if you, I mean, let me fucking beat me up later on social media. Oh no, we're, we're gonna take you out back years to the of ship and beat you. Not okay. You're gonna take me out back to the graviton generators. What was that, uh, Mike? Uh, I'm risking a hundred years of wear and tear to not be in the cryo tubes. Okay. Uh, yeah. So that's kind of all partly uh, risking your life for your buddy. So we could we could count that. I think Axel not ripping my fucking head off was probably a big plus. <laughs> so is the Swedish flag. And did anybody plus. earn any nice. money? Nobody earned any money this time yet. So that will. Uh... Not- Wait, money is in this? There's money, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is space capitalism. Yep, yep. Oh, I'm renting out the dungeon. All right. That being said... uh, What do these experience points do? So, (laughs) you can now, in between game sessions, you can uh, purchase uh, another point and a skill check. If you'd like... Um, if it's a skill that you don't have, you need to either have tried to use it during the session or have somebody teach you that knows how to do it. Um, and, uh, the other option is that you can, uh, use five experience points to buy a trait instead. Um, traits are, uh, if you look at the top right of your screen or a character sheet, rather, um, Let's pull up uh, we'll pull up Des real quick. So, let's see. Uh, and I can get you guys the list of traits, but he's got, he's got field surgeon, so he gets a uh, plus two uh, modification to medical aid when he's treating someone who is about to die from critical injuries. Oh, okay. So that's, that's marked as talent on my sheet. <coughs> oh, is it? I think. Uh, well, I, I see talent. I got pull rank. Is that like a, a trait? Are you, are you Captain Roland? Or yeah. All right, folks. Don't forget. Make sure. Fucking Monday thing. nights, Star Trek, Captain Roland. But yeah, I, I, well, I have pull right. It's it's listed as a talent on the top right of my sheet. I just wanted to check that I was seeing the right idea. Yeah, let me make sure I'm using the. I, I uh... Should it cost five to get a yeah. new trait? Yeah. Um... Damn, so close. Yep. How much does it cost to add so to add a new point? Uh, <coughs> it's five okay. to add a point. And, uh, new... 
Yep. Oh, it's five. To add a, to add a point to a Shitting. to a skill. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Fuck. So we need at least five experience points yes. to do anything. Good. Got it. All right. Well, that makes my. Job I got a punch. Yeah. I pick nothing. I pick nothing. I pick nothing. So, but it gives you an idea of uh, what uh, what that's gonna do. Like, now uh, think about it because. Uh, when the next session starts, you guys will pick different buddies and rivals, or we're the same, if you want. I already have. So, um, oh, I know there. who my friends are. I've already put them in my character sheet, ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm... I am prepared. Oh, wait, did you, did you say that wait. they have to be player characters? No, no they're going to be part of the NPC. They, they do not? Is it is it too late to argue that I help my buddy by, by asking... By, by telling them about the lock blocker? Uh, well, it specifically says saving the life of a buddy. So, oh, um, okay, never mind. Well, let's pretend yeah, this, was wait, wait, what, locker was locked. what if his insulin was in there? But we did give an experience point for, uh, for identifying that. As a, yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> I'm just trying, I'm just trying to, you know, squeeze, squeeze. Hey, hey Bruce Gaskin. Right. How does it feel to be on the other side of having to advocate for yourself for experience? It sucks, doesn't it? I think it's spectacular. It sucks, and it's fun. It? No, I'm just kidding. You, I think everyone should always uh, do it. It's the best strategy for giving out experience. You, in fact, we should be. They, we should start fighting and be in an argument. Should be that we're die rolls. We, we, we still we can't we can't we can't we can't do the Star Wars stuff. With the experience is live though. <laughs> That's no, yeah, no, it gets ugly. It gets These are very specific ugly. questions, so it kind of works. <laughs> Oh, I want to see Real Housewives of Star Wars. Basically, that's what that would turn into. We could start that. I was gonna off say, next I'll week. record. I'll record it next week, and uh, and we'll see if we can't like make we'll something. Put it on the, bon the, the, the DVD, the bonus DVD. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. It'll it'll be with the cast commentary. Uh, the baking ribs. All right, uh, Armand, do you want to lead us out while I look for a raid for us? That's perfect, because I uh, well, I wanted to close out with a joke. So we'll do uh, it's a thank you all for uh, for joining us, the Lords and Ladies of Fate. Hey, that's also you. You are also the Lords and Ladies of Fate. We're one big, giant community here. We could not do this without you. Uh, we're greatly appreciative of that. Um, and uh, thanks. Uh, it's, it's that time of year that everybody's super busy, and the fact that you have carved out any piece of this very, very valuable time in your lives uh, to spend it with us, it really, really does mean a lot. Um, uh, that being said, um, tell your friends, tell, tell, tell one friend, say, Hey, watch, watch Lords and Ladies of Fate, and then just turn around and walk away. Don't give them any context. Don't tell them anything else. Just walk up to them and say, watch Lords and Ladies of Fate, and turn around and walk away. Simple. Um, join us next week, uh, after, after the, the holiday, uh, week, uh, and we'll, we'll have some Star Wars on Monday. And then, no, no, I'm sorry, Star Trek. It, I, I do this every <coughs> single time I you do know, the outro. Yeah, Literally you, every single time. You will be pissed because yeah. oh, he got Trek lawyers. Trek Wait, what? Star Wars, Star Trek, same thing. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be doing uh, Golden Girls RPG this weekend, guys. Too much going on. Oh. Yeah, yeah, no, it's mm -hmm. too much. Hey, we actually, we, we stream that, but we only stream like 30 seconds of it. So you really need to be prepared. 5 a.m. Uh, or you're... Mm -hmm. yeah. If you're if you're not awake, you're not yeah. catching and it. Uh, we delete I'm we delete White. the vods. I'm Betty White. <laughs> Putting it out there. Oh, thanks, Cinder Gang. Cinder Gang says for my first session uh, of viewing, honestly, it was a lot of fun. Once I get to know the dynamics, I'll be sure to cause mayhem. We look Thank forward you. to we invite it. it. We need yes. we need some we need some mayhem call <laughs> causers. Um, so, like I was saying, Monday. Let's try this again. Monday, we'll have Star Trek. For Star Wars. Uh, yep, not Star Wars. Uh, uh, followed by Wednesday when we'll have uh, Dungeons and Dragons 5th Edition and the Adenia campaign. Uh, we'll love to have you. We'll be back with the heist next week. And then um, next week uh, on Thursday, uh, we'll be doing Star Wars. That's when the Star Wars happens. Uh, join us the as magic um, maybe maybe the Jedi dies because he bit off way more than he could chew. <laughs> and maybe. he's done whining about it in the corner, being all sorry, feeling all sorry for himself. And he's ready to kick some fucking ass. So let's and maybe, go. And then you can do your bounty hunter character that you always want. Yeah. No, I don't. I did not. <laughs> well, we have a backup not. character, if have, bro. If I have to roll another <laughs> character, do you know what do you know what character I'm going to roll? Jawa. I'm going to roll. I'm going to roll ship AI. That's what I want. I want. I want, I want to be the AI for a ship. Cortana. Make it Cortana. Happen. Cortana. 
Um, and uh, yeah, so that's 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 all I wanted to tell you all. Uh, thanks again. And um, hey, did you all hear? Uh, word on the street is the Cookie Monster tested positive for COVID nineteen. <laughs> I know it it's the Omicron variant. <laughs> and with that, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Merry Christmas. Bye bye, everybody. Merry Christmas.